the high spot is next to your house. Exactly. And it slopes both ways to the street right. to the back of the lot. Right. Okay. It's, I mean, it, I understand what Kim was trying to do when he put all that in there for what he had. Yeah, I, I never paid much attention to it other than the corner that I've got back there in the back. Okay. Any other questions, any discussions from the board before I ask about opposition or clarification? Okay. If anyone here is, is in opposition or needs clarification, will you come to the lecture and give us your name and address for the record? I am Jackie McCurdy. I live at 2814 uh, Willowood Circle. Um, which is directly behind Mr. Bowman. I had mailed uh, from the website letters to those, what the website shows yes. is all the minutes. Right, we have, we have the letters. I, but I don't know, not all these people have. Okay. And again, due to the fact that Mr. Bowman has, has made some statements that are not exactly true, I would like to go back to my original letter and have you hear all of them. I mean, we, we have the letter. They have the letter. We, we have the letter. Okay. Um, he, he has given some information that was not so true. Number one, that five feet by my yard stick is three feet and two inches. Um, that um, building that was there to begin with didn't bother me because it was there when I bought the property. Okay, let's but let me back up and ask a question. Okay. When you say you're measuring, are you measuring right. to the you edge of the roof the line, Back to the property. from the roof line to the property, or the right. side of the building to the property? The roof line. Okay. That's where the water is. So uh, he, he is also, when he, when he talked to my partner, he told him that he had letters from all the neighbors. He's never contacted me. He has not given me the courtesy of contacting me in any way. I didn't know who he was until today. Apparently, he was in my backyard and took a lot of pictures or view through my, um, oh, my um, pear tree, my bark of pear tree. Because right now, there's leaves, and this building doesn't show up as much as it will. But you know, when you've got a building, when you've got an 85 foot lot, and you've got a building that's 50 feet, 3 feet, 2 inches from the property line, that backs up uh, with, with the, um, Planning roof towards you. That's not only unsightly from my side, it's uh, a drainage problem. And uh, he, he is, um, as far as Susan, um, uh, as far as Ann Eames, I talked with Ann, Ann's a friend of mine. She says, Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I did not think of uh, the people behind us. I thought only um, it won't bother me. And she said, They'll from us. It won't bother her. And she, he also gave you a letter from uh, uh, Joy and Steve Jennings. They're across the street. It's not going to bother me. They can hardly see. But it's in my face. I understand. And for one, one little bit of clarification, the reason that he got those letters is the people that touch his property. Well, have to be have, well, but that's that's what I'm going to agree. Even though there's a street in front of him, technically you have to pretend like that street does not exist. And so, if they could have touched him all the way around, then he has to notify them, or staff has to notify them with certified mail. I think certified or regular mail. Certified mail. Uh, that's why everybody got those letters, and that's why the people across the street respond. And yes, they don't see the building; they see the front of his house, but they are still they are still affected. They have to be notified. So that's that's where some of that. So, what what other, what other concerns do you have? So well, we uh, try to get addressed. Number one, I think that Mr. Put, uh, old to do it. Uh, Mr. Fogel is an educated, well-informed man. And I think that he knew any building required a building permit. Uh, now, he claimed it on his building. But uh, um, should he have taken his, build, his building's uh, permission, should he not have checked into that himself? Um, and I feel that he knew he could. 
couldn't get a permit to build that close to the property line. So he went ahead doing it thinking it would never be because nobody would ever know. I, um, I feel that at the very least, this is devaluing our property. It um, is right there. All you see is that hall across the, the back is that roof uh, above the uh, fence. Uh, Mr. Bolton has stated to permit officials that he has letters from all of his neighbors with no problem with building, and that's not true. He has not been contacted. He has not given me the courtesy. Now, I know his lot's bigger than mine, his house is up still from mine, but that's my home.
believe it or not, like Mr. Orenstein said, this is not the first time we've seen this kind of stuff, and I hate to admit it, but it probably won't be the last time because things fall through the cracks or misunderstanding and communication between contractor or supposed contractor and the person that's hiring them. Uh, it's something I have been sitting on this board now for a few of 20 years. It's something we deal with on a regular basis. When I rode down through the neighborhood trying to look at the entire neighborhood in its entirety to try to see. There were several buildings that I didn't get out and measure them all, but I got out and walked to look. There were several buildings through there that appeared they did not meet setbacks in that neighborhood. Uh, and I'm not trying to stir up problems with anybody else, but it, this is something that we see. And all, all I'm trying to do is get before the board what your main concerns are and if there's any way to try to alleviate some of those concerns and then try to do something with it. Uh, Mr. Strickland, did you see a 50-foot building behind uh, 50 feet with anybody else in the park? I did not see a 50-foot building. I saw several large buildings that were, in my estimation, encroaching into setbacks, both side yards and rear yards in several places. Through that neighborhood, I drove down the next neighborhood over, which is Fawnwood, whatever, and saw some in there. I mean, it, it, it happened. I, I hate that it happened, but it does. And then, you know, I, at this point, we're just trying to get all the facts to find out what your objections are and how bad those objections, how strong those objections are so that we can see if there's anything can be done before we make a decision. Because once we make a decision, it's pretty much made. Well, now, uh, Mr. Bolton had the as soon as I saw the building going up, I called the permit out. He had already done the farm. I, I didn't know that. But uh, he had an opportunity to stop and not complete the building as he has done. Um, I understand it would be uh, a burden to him to have to uh, take it down. But uh, I feel that he has disregarded the laws, the rules, and so forth. He can, in my face, he has never contacted me. If he had come to me and said, Mr. McGrady, we want to do this in our yard, uh, to our yard. How can we uh, work this out between us? I would have worked with him. I would have tried to. But it's just in my face. He still hasn't contacted me until I've never, I didn't even know who he was. Yes, ma'am. I understand that. And the bell has been wrong. We can't unring the bell. We've got to go from here forward. Yeah. I have one question. Yes. When were you officially notified of the variance, the application? Who, who did when I? Did you, when were you officially notified? Did you send us? I saw it in the paper. Mm -hmm. okay, I, 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 the, of uh, course, now they told me uh, uh, after uh, Mike Martin told me he could drive in, then Matt Martin told me that uh, they had told him he would have to go uh, before something. And that was uh, on the uh, 15th of August, is when we did that one. And uh, the building started in uh, sometime the last of July. I don't know what. I have one, one quick question. When was construction completed? Painting, probably this, this week. Okay, aside from painting, the construction. Uh, I can't tell you the actual date. Okay, about, about approximately. Uh, Mid August. Early on. Okay. On the 15th is when they started back on the construction. You know, the construction stopped, and on all the 15th, they started back on the construction. But with regard to with everything that's going on, Mr. McCreary, you, you had some work done, or you had some pretty stuff you done, correct? Here the last year. Are you aware that the workers that were taking those trees down burn up two of my bushes over on my side of the fence? I don't know how that could happen because that's not a That's not a They were back up uh, on the. Uh, I, I just. No further. No further on that. Okay, so. 
in essence, you, you basically have two real concerns. One is the site and two is the water. That we might be able to do something about. Well, there's no way you're going to change it from 30 feet to 2 inches on the property. No, ma'am. I mean, uh, the, the building is there. The building was the, over half the building, or right at half the building, was already there before, and it was still 3 feet off the property line based on the measurements of the wood line. No argument. Well, of course, now he has added more than was already there. Uh, I understand. Uh, well, uh, I would say it's more than twice more. Uh, have you seen the finished product? Have you seen the building since it's been completed? Well, I mean, it's in my face when I say yeah. it might be the same. So, so I mean, you've seen the back side of it, have you seen the front side of it? Can I show you these pictures? You've got two. You've got this is one side, and this is the other side. You've got that one solid building in the middle. Now, other than a setback, a concession perhaps needs to be made in this case or it needs to be denied. But to look at a concession, other than a setback, would you uh, accept the fact that perhaps there's something to be done as far as raising the, the height of this fence because it's raised on the right side, on the north side, and perhaps whether to divert even more water from your area, would you be considered of that situation? Well, I, I don't see how, how we could divert more water. Utilizing the gutter and, and having those gutters directed to another direction, perhaps straight out to the street. Well, I'm just opposed to it. I'm opposed to the way it has been uh, just uh, uh, done without any uh, courtesy towards me are concerned towards me, it's just, uh, it's just wrong. We understand, you, we understand your feelings, Mr. Perry, and we, we're trying to take them into consideration. Is there anyone else here in opposition? Does anyone else have anything that they'd like to bring forward? Was there any contact to your office by anybody else? There was one letter, there was one phone call wondering what the red and white signs of the yard would be. Back in the uh, Would it be possible, Bob, to put gutters on it? Absolutely. Yeah. And or try to direct the gutters out toward the street? I know you might have to have them slightly above hill, maybe you may even have to do a little landscaping in there to hide it sure. to get it across the home, so to speak, right there at the yeah. south side of your house, so that we can capture maybe a large part, maybe most of the water, and have a, a pipe that comes out of the curb into the street. And at the same time, is that going do we need to talk about the city engineer about dumping that water in the street? Between the back of the building and, and that raised concrete that you put, there's lower concrete there. Yes. Could you undo that concrete that's between the building and the fence and plant some Leland Cypress or some tall bush there? there then this wouldn't be running off. That would be soil, but the, any rain that fell down instead of running under the fence would go into the curb. And Planting something tall here it would eventually grow taller than the fence and to cover up the building in the back. In the back. Yeah, I don't know that you've got room. I, I it, would, it, uh, it's it's pretty big back there. Well, yeah, but I you got a you got a roof overhang and the bushes are going. What if you plant in there? You're going to start growing into the building. Do you have other room? Huh? I don't think. If anything. Well, that concrete back there, though, certainly is making the runoff run somewhere, rather than, I mean, rain that just falls on the ground, and it falls on that concrete that's behind the building. That's a that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's put a 